I never thought I'd find myself in Nepal telling the stories of the people there or going 50 miles up the Montaba River in a dugout canoe in the Congo, or even just traveling to all the major cities in the United States. I had never really been just out of the Southeastern United States. Being in North Greenville, God really used that time to help me to focus my attention, to mature me in ways that I didn't even know I needed to mature, and to really help me zone in, focus in, and pick a path and, and start walking it. Right out of high school, when I was thinking about kind of where I wanted to go, I, I really wasn't 100% sure. My mom told me, she said, just think about what you like to do as a kid and the things that you enjoyed. And I thought back to me and my cousin making goofy videos with our, you know, little handy cam. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend that strategy to everyone choosing a career, but in my case, uh, God really blessed it and it really worked out well. I remember being in one of my mass comm classes and there was a speaker in the class, his name was Chris Brank. He was actually a former student at North Greenville. And at the end of him speaking, I asked him a question about an SD card. And then from there, he hired me on to do a little bit of freelance color work. I showed him some of the things I'd made in North Greenville and I got a Facebook message and he said, hey, can you do some freelance color? And then that turned into another freelance job. And then he brought me on to run second camera. And then eventually he said, hey, how do you feel about coming on full time? It's really cool to see how God took a single point at North Greenville and sort of stretched it out all over my life. So the experiences I got to have traveling, seeing different cultures, seeing different people, seeing different uh, industries, and then meeting my wife and getting me back to Charlotte and like all of that, I can pinpoint back to North Greenville. We were doing work for American Leprosy Mission locally. We were doing work for March of Dimes, a lot of local churches and nonprofits, and even Spinks gas stations. And then we kind of just found ourselves working for a lot of uh, national and international brands. Like we did stuff for Michelin, we did stuff for Sara Lee Breads, um, all fabric softeners. When I first went to North Greenville, I was terrified of public speaking. I was terrified of even just kind of walking up somebody and just striking up a conversation. And I think that is probably one of the biggest obstacles that being in North Greenville helped me overcome. Communication is, it's the bedrock of relationship, right? And then relationship is the bedrock of business. So if you want to be able to do business and you want to be able to develop relationships, you have to know how to communicate. I wanted to make movies and then a lot of doors started opening up, a lot of opportunities. I kind of went into the corporate commercial space. And even now I'm kind of back in a place where uh, the company I work for is making movies. I get to produce some documentary work, do some DP work and also promotional work. So it's really cool that kind of from where I started to where I am now that I'm still in the field and in the industry that I set out to, to be in. When I look back, I can see North Greenville University really as that first connecting point for all the adventures that I've been able to be on so far. Where I'm at is not an end, and it's also not anything that's special to me. Really, anybody could go to North Greenville, have these opportunities, and walk a very similar path, and go way further than I've gone, and do a lot more than I've ever done. And I think that's that's the cool thing about life, that's the cool thing about North Greenville and opportunities it gives people. It's not just like, David did that, so I can't do that. It's like, no, like David did that, so that means I could do that and so much more.